My name's Don from Grody. Today we're gonna to go over the machine inspection checklist for the waterfall applicator. When inspecting the scrapers, you want to look at the scrapers. The scrapers are all dual material except for the number one. The outer material is softer than the base, but you want to make sure there's no sharps, no edges to it. You don't want to damage the belt. When you're talking lubrication of bearings on this machine, almost all rolling ends have bearings that have grease fittings in them. All right, that would be the conveyor ends, the flicker ends, the rake ends. Each bearing, they all look similar. They're just a little different in size. Any rolling part has a bearing. When you grease it, do it with a handgun. Don't overpressurize them. Don't put too much grease in them. One or two pumps, call it good. Make sure it's done after sanitation. No pressure on the weigh scales unless you're running production. Those are all on the portion belt conveyor. The main cover latches are spring-loaded. You wanna make sure that they stay spring-loaded. Belts themselves, you need to make sure you don't wash them with high temperature water while they're under tension because they tend to stretch. When you're inspecting the number one belt, make sure that it, its edge guides are in good condition and they're not chunked out. Same thing with number three. Number three, you wanna make sure that your drive knuckles are in good condition. On the number two belt, the fins are actually adhered on there, so make sure they're staying on and they're in good condition. On the rake and the flicker, for the motor adjustments, make sure that your collars are locked and they're still tight. You also wanna add a little bit of grease above and below the splines so that it doesn't seize. And that completes the maintenance inspection for the waterfall applicator from Grody Company. <laughs>